Thank you and good morning. My name is Dave Jones and I have the privilege of serving as California's Insurance Commissioner. And I'm delighted uh, to be here at the headquarters of the Automobile Club of Southern California to be joined by Robert Boutier, uh, the Automobile Club's President, and also Assistant Chief Chris O'Quinn of the California Highway Patrol. Uh, we're here uh, this morning to talk to you about something that is very, very important. Uh, and that is making sure that uh, as we're in the run-up to uh, America's largest sporting event, the Super Bowl, uh, that we're also encouraging everyone to remember that it's incredibly important that you not drink and drive. And particularly given the degree of uh, uh, Super Bowl parties and celebrations around the time of the Super Bowl to remind people to be very, very careful and make sure that as they're watching and celebrating the Super Bowl, they do everything they can to avoid drinking and driving. Uh, this is an extraordinarily dangerous problem uh, for California uh, on our roads and highways every day. Unfortunately, there are those who drive uh, while they're under the influence. And according to the California Office of Traffic Safety, Los Angeles is the number one city in the state for DUI fatalities, with more than 2,750 fatalities alone that's nearly 3,000 people who lost their lives because someone chose to drink and drive. These deaths are needless and preventable. Unfortunately, the Super Bowl Sunday also ranks among the most dangerous days on the road for DUI crashes and fatalities. More than half of all people that attend a sporting event consume alcohol. Think about the size of an average stadium or arena that holds tens of thousands of people. Now picture the Super Bowl and think about all the many restaurants and bars and pubs which are popular locations to watch the big game and the thousands of Super Bowl parties hosted in private homes and you can imagine how big the problem is. In Los Angeles alone on Super Bowl Sunday we see a 57 percent increase in injuries and fatalities associated with drunk driving. It's also incredibly costly. A DUI arrest and convic conviction is an expensive proposition. The cost of a first DUI conviction in California averages between $5,000 and $10,000. If you're underage, the cost can top $20,000. Add to all this losing your driving privileges for a minimum of 60 days and likely longer, the possibility of jail time, and a dramatic increase in your cost of insurance. And you can see what the financial toll is. But more importantly, there are the lives lost, the people injured, the families that are disrupted as a result of drunk driving. So we're here to call your attention to the very real danger associated with Super Bowl Sunday, but also to let you know that there are things you can do. Each of us has a responsibility to make sure that we don't drive while we're drunk, but also to make sure our friends and family members don't also. If you're hosting a Super Bowl party, collect the keys of your guests and make sure that no one gets in a, in a car if they're intoxicated. Call cabs, call ride-sharing service, arrange for a designated driver, and as we're going to hear a moment from Robert Boutier, the president of the Automobile Club of Southern California, they have an innovative program called Tipsy Toe that's available for AAA members to make sure that you're not operating your vehicle while you're drunk. So we're very excited to partner uh, with AAA uh, and also uh, with the Highway Patrol in conveying this simple message. Enjoy Super Bowl Sunday, but don't drink and drive. And so with that, it's now my pleasure to introduce Assistant Chief Chris O'Quinn with the California Highway Patrol Southern Division. Thank you, Commissioner. And uh, thank you, too, Mr. Boutier, for inviting me out. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is a very important thing. Now, I'm a big football plan, uh, fan. As you can see, I probably played a little football back in the day, and I look forward to the Super Bowl. I enjoy it tremendously. I also enjoy celebrating a little bit, but I also want to remind everybody that it's a very, very dangerous proposition. We want everybody to have a good time, we want everybody to celebrate, but we want them to do so responsibly. If you don't, it could be very, very tragic consequences. Not only could you potentially hurt yourself or even kill yourself, you could probably hurt somebody else, somebody you didn't even know, just a, a mother and a child on their way home. It's important that everybody think before they get behind the wheel. Just so you know, it is illegal to drive with 0 .08 alcohol level in California. It's even lower 
for a commercial driver. If you're a commercial driver, you drive a commercial vehicle, that, that level drops to 0 0.04. So whether or not you feel like you're intoxicated or not, the law says that if you are at those levels, you are driving under the influence, and we don't want you to do that. Another issue that we're facing is the advent of medical marijuana or the use of prescription drugs or illicit drugs. If you get behind the wheel after taking your medicines, you need to be cautious because those things can impair your ability to drive just as much as alcohol can. And we don't want you to harm yourself or somebody else. Now, from the law enforcement side of it, I want you to know that the Highway Patrol is going to be out in force, along with our law enforcement par partners, looking for those who make that wrong choice and choose to get out there on the roads while they're after having something to drink. Thank you for having us out. Be safe out there. And uh, I wish I could endorse a team, but I can't. Go Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thank you. Thank you uh, all for coming today. I'm especially pleased that uh, Commissioner Dave Jones and Assistant Chief of uh, CH CHP Chris O'Quinn could join us um, at the Auto Club's historic headquarters in downtown Los Angeles. We're just a few blocks from the Memorial Coliseum site of the very first Super Bowl. What began as a celebration of gridiron grip and determination has grown into an international spectacle of athleticism, advertising and amusement, and now ranks as a symbol of bigger, larger, and more in many categories. Sadly, this is also the case for a drinking and driving. For the first time on Super Bowl Sunday, the Auto Club will provide its Tipsy Toe Safe Ride program from 6 p.m. Sunday to 6 a.m. Monday to help remove uh, drinking drivers from the road. Anyone, anyone, motorists, bartenders, restaurant managers, party hosts, hosts or passengers of a drinking driver may call 1-800-400-4AAA. Thank you. In addition to the potential loss of your life or serious injury or loss of life of others or injuries of others, there's also financial cost. You can face significant monetary fines, suspension of your license, and jail time for driving while drunk. It will also have an impact on your insurance. You can see your insurance rates go up dramatically, which hits you and your family in the pocketbook. So for all that, those reasons, your safety, the safety of others, the financial consequences, don't drink and drive. The impact of driving under the influence is, is just, unless you've experienced it, you don't really understand how big a deal it is for those that are involved in it. Uh, People lose their lives, and most of the time it's not the person who's driving under the influence. Most of the time it's their passengers or some other innocent driver that was just going down the, uh, the roadway, obeying the laws, making the right choice, but they, they are completely unaware that someone else who's under the influence is basically driving a 2,000 pound bullet down the street, and they come together, and it has to be tragic, tragic consequences. And as a result, we have, we experience the type of statistics that we do. When there's greater opportunity to celebrate and take part in the libation that goes along with that celebration, uh, there's great opportunities for people to make the wrong choice and get behind the wheel and drive with you. We've been doing this for now about 18 years. Uh, we, it started on New Year's. It's really been uh, uh, broadened to Fourth of July, and this year we decided, with the growing parties and the issues with uh, drinking and driving, that Super Bowl Sunday would be something that we ought to be doing as well. So this is our first. We'll see how it works, and we're looking forward to being uh, able to help uh, our members as well as people that are not members on the road.